Hi, I'm Don. In the summer of 1971, I worked in Moose Factory for four months for the Ministry of Natural Resources. I also completed a Master of Arts thesis for Carleton University on the Swampy Cree who lived in the James Bay region. Here are the photographs I accumulated at the time. This is a shot of Moose Factory from the air. As you can see, it's an island. It's located in the middle of the Moose River at the mouth of James Bay. It's not a very large community. And it's a long way north. Most tourists get to Moose Factory by taking the Polar Bear Express from Cochrane. It's also possible to fly to Moosonee. Moosonee is pictured here and it's on the west bank of the Moose River. You can see the railway to the left and the small community spreading out from the river. It's necessary to take a freighter canoe from Moosonee to Moose Factory. Many tourists stop off at Tidewater Park, which has a large campsite. We are on our way to Moose Factory. It's quite a pleasant scenic trip. I did it every day for four months and found you had to be very wary of the James Bay tide. When the tide is out, it's very easy to lose a prop. On a Most of the freight from Moose Factory comes by barge from Moosonee. Moose Factory today has a large hospital which services the population around Hudson Bay. The Hudson Bay Company still operates a large retail store. The cannon symbolizes the path. There is a large Cree reservation on the island and some still trap or guide tourists to hunt geese. Beaver pelts used for the manufacture of top hats in London mark the beginning of Moose Factory. This is an old fur press for compressing beaver pelts prior to shipment to England. A fur trading post was established in 1673 to trade for pelts on the Moose River. The Moose River drains a great portion of Northern Ontario. In the early years, the 
post was serviced by the trading ship Nonsuch. The ship has been reconstructed as a replica, and I watched it sail to the old Moose Factory location in 1971. Life was tough for the old fur traders. Cree Indians paddled birch bark canoes down the Abitibi, Potogamy, and Missinabe rivers to trade at the mouth of James Bay. This girl is plucking a goose. Here are some pictures of the post in its early years. By the mid-1800s, St. Thomas Church had been constructed. This was a company warehouse. This was Moose School. Thank you, Bill, for joining me on this brief tour through time of Moose Factory on the shores of James Bay, Ontario. <laughs>